Greetings and welcome to another PS Art Books episode. Little did I know that uh, when I posted episode one, a mere hour or so later, the Royal Mail did another delivery and uh, sent me something else. Remember that image from the previous video? Well, this is the absolute best of Harvey Horrors, featuring the first four issues of Man in Black. So, um, it's a massive 600 page, over 600 page tome of wonderful stuff. Let's see if I can slip this one out. Again, just to show you the, the slip case, that's the, the back. You can see in the spine, and you've obviously seen the front. Beautiful. Like all these books, it's like a spot black on the covers behind the main image. Beautiful. Now, unusually, uh, with this particular tone, PS Art Books have put all the covers in the back and they've uh, basically put each Harvey Horror title or the selected titles from the selected comics from the titles of the various best of Harvey Horrors in their own category. That came out really kind of sluggish didn't it? So yeah basically um, oh another quick thing I'd like to mention is that this particular set limited to 125 copies worldwide ridiculously small printing so let me just show you that was man in black issue number one is there gloss cover newsprint pages Before I kind of get stuck into it, I just want to mention, although it's hard to see, about the binding. Looking at the bottom, it looks like it's standard. Oh, I can just about see it now. I was going to say just standard glue binding, but no, it is sewn. Whereas you can see on the top, yeah, it's definitely sewn. So I'm pleased to see that. It's not just glue binding. Is a proper decent sewn binding so the pages aren't going to drop out in a few years. So let me just quickly show you. Yep. He says, yep. Uh, understanding that I can't find the cover to number two of Man in Black. Hang on. Please bear with me, dear viewers. How strange. I can't find the cover for number two. Maybe they couldn't source it, I don't know. It's shown in the back. Hmm. Cover for number three. Where is number two? Have I just missed it? Or what? Issue number one. The guts of issue number two. Well, that is a flaw. Mm, that is a flaw. They clearly show it in the back, but they haven't included it for the actual issue number two's guts. Very strange. Issue number four. 
I have to bring that up with um, the guys and gals at PSR Books, I think. Where is your cover to number two? Yep, so as I say, that's issues one to four of Man in Black. And then the book starts proper with the absolute best of Harvey Horrors, The Chamber of Chills. Chapter, shall we say. Yep, a nice thick chunk. Reproduction seems to be more vibrant and the registration seems to be better. So I should imagine that is how it came out on the newsstands. Wonderful. And then we have get to where I want. We've had the Chamber of Chills, and then there's the Witch's Tale section. And you've got old Mephisto there. to the Tomb of Terror section. Brilliant. So we're just hanging around there. mystery. Crazy. Look at that. Flesh peeling off the bone there. Then we are on to a blurb at the back. And we have a cover gallery, chamber of chills. Tomb of Terror. So, Black Cat Mystery. And then begins lovely original artwork. Probably around about 20 pages of this. Walking Dead. Where have I heard that before? Spider-Man.
just beautiful, just loads and loads of this gorgeous original artwork. Yeah, it's definitely sewn binding. And you can see the, I don't know, maybe the light can't catch it, but you've got to, uh, like, you can see the, the sewing running up the spine. Beautiful stuff. So there we go, and I shall explore deeper as to why the cover to Man in Black uh, number two, yeah, isn't in the book. Maybe I've just missed it. Um, if I do come across it in this volume, then I shall put a little edit in the show notes. But for now, dear friends, thank you for pressing the, the watch button and having a little look at my latest PSR books volume. 600 pages of all beautiful stuff. Only 125 made. You know, I could probably forgive that missing cover because it's shown on the back, the, both the slipcase and the book itself. So, and for the price I paid for it, it's a bloody song. Really uh, cheap as chips. And uh, whatever you're eating for tea tonight, make sure that there's no radium on your plate because you don't want to look like this poor fella, do you? So, thanks again, everybody. Um, hope you enjoyed this. It's not too short episode, and um, I shall see you on the next one. Bye for now.